More than 70 leaders in Catholic universities across the country have signed a letter urging protection for undocumented students under the new Trump administration. Among them, the president of DePaul University, CBS 2 Sandra Torres reports. For 19-year-old Brenda Gonzalez, getting a college education has not been easy. It's already hard enough being undocumented, much less uh, trying to pay for your like trying to pay for your own education. But thanks to private scholarships from DePaul University and a GoFundMe page, she's been making it work. If it wasn't for a university scholarship, um, I wouldn't be going to school right now. But that could change if President-elect Donald Trump fulfills his promise to get rid of a program that protects undocumented students like Brenda. I am somewhat afraid, yes, because I haven't even gotten to the point of having it, and it's only like what, like two, less than two months away until he takes office. The program is called Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, known as DACA. It grants temporary relief to children brought here illegally and allows them to continue their studies. All of them came here as children. And so it wasn't their decision to come to the U.S. That's why Reverend Dennis Holtschneider, president at DePaul University, is among the more than 70 Catholic leaders who signed this letter to protect those students. Can we please actually allow them to stay, allow them to continue to work, to finish their educations? Um, because they don't have other options in the world. This is their home, and we want to keep them here. And throughout the campaign, President-elect Donald Trump said he will immediately terminate DACA since it was an executive order by President Obama in 2012 rather than an act of Congress. And Robin Erica, no word yet on when and if that will happen. Okay. Thank you, Sandra.